Player, a D&D play podcast set in the homebrewed world of Jekyll. We've got two DMs for some reason, which can only mean twice the fun. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your time at... Theater of the Mind Flayer! Welcome to Theatre of the Mind Flayer. My tasty little voicey has been warmed up thanks to some work that I truly hated today. But uh, I'm here with Jacob Mation and Caleb Dowdle. I'm Jacob Mation. That's Caleb Dowdle. I uh, I love all work that I do. And if anyone do is you listening know? that I've worked with, yeah, of course. I loved it all. This will come out God knows when. And no one will know what work I'm talking about. No, Because no. I work so yeah, damn Yeah, that's much. true, actually. They'll be thinking, <laughs> really? is that me? And they'll be like, no, it couldn't be. No, not, my, not. not my work. Of course no not. No. Of course not. We're here with the usual suspects. We have Danielle Butlin. Hello. We have Luke Sykes. Hi. People hate working with me more than I hate working with them. This is true. Uh, we have Michael Briganti. I'd like to think people like working with me, but I don't know. They don't. And this is Hercules Mays. <laughs> I changed my name so people who hated me don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Very fair. How are we all doing? Good. Good, good, good. 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 Welcome back to another recording session. Uh, as we kick off, we have snacks from the Snack Daddies. Ooh, Everyone, snack daddy! have a box um, of you, Cracker Jacks. Throwing- These Ooh. are American snacks. Wait, there's uh, a prize inside? There's a prize inside. Uh, these are Cracker Jacks. Oh. Uh, I have the sticker? I've never had these. I think the prize is the sticker. I've never had these before. I don't know if any of us have. Uh, I've never had We are from... It looks kind of like a cereal box. Like, you know those mini cereal boxes that you get in, like... I feel like I've hotel trans- rooms. Mm. Yeah, been transported to like the 1930s. <laughs> Are these with a sailor hugging a dog on a baseball? <laughs> mm. Well, this is like a classic baseball. <laughs> no, snack. they're part of the baseball. They're like, oh, is that his body? Yeah, he's, 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 he's a space opera man. He is a space opera man. It's like I, a Cronenberg. Like, like, I got a little dog baseball man explosion right. sticker. I have a question: Who opened it wrong? Me. Which, how will we... You uh, just jam your thumb in. Push and tear. Uh, but how do you get the prize? Uh, I was watching James. Yeah, yeah, just open the push and tear. <laughs> I were was, these, yeah. Were these recommended by the Snack Daddies? They were. Did Should they I say know? why so these ones I in particular? To, okay. Well, I asked for inside qu- arcade. Are quintessential American, American snacks. And uh, these Jesus. were some of the ones that they said. So. Okay, I feel like mm. the push and... T- I mean, because I... Hey, it yeah. works, look. Mm. <laughs> no, not it's, after you've done this part. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man, that was a bad idea. Oh. Just poured right. it all over. So it's like popcorn, it's but it's and okay. I don't know, like peanuts. Okay. Well, yeah. No, I think it's it's corn. like caramel corn and like roasted peanuts. I don't think the push. Where's the uh, prize? Tear to push it off is, is the right way to do it. Oh, you have to pull it. Yeah. Okay. Push and tear off top. Oh, Read so instructions. So I did do it right. I just pushed. I think I got a prize. You need to eat your way down to the prize. I want the prize. Well. It's like I can see it, but I can't reach it. These mm. are definitely better than the pickles, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. That's not. That's not. A it's high a low. Bar. It's a low bar. Yeah. I'm Anything's almost, better than your pickles. So it's, a, so it's like a. It's like a. It's like QR code sort of thing. You go on a website and then you put in the sticker. Hmm. I was hoping it was like a little peel on tattoo. Tattoo. That'd be nice. cool. Nice. Yeah. I and got, I got Sailor Boy. Anyone got in a uh, cereal box? Oh. What was? Well, and does anyone have a good toy they got in a cereal box like back Ooh. in the day? I don't remember any specific cereal box toys, but I always remember cereal mm-hmm. boxes with like games on the back, like maps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I feel like but, the Tazos were a good time. Mm. Yeah, collecting them. There was a while there they were giving out like CD-ROMs yeah, of video like, games. Oh, that was yes. Age of Empires had a, yeah. like, yes on a cereal box, brain. and it was fucking great. Kellogg's. Yeah, Kellogg's yeah, yeah. Doing yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> it was That's just so. Shit. <laughs> like the full game, not a demo, yeah. just the full oh, game. <laughs> that's an, that's you could type in Proton Man and make the little lights. Do <laughs> that's the price of a cereal box? That mm-hmm. seems insane. Caleb, do you have a trivia treat? You are the one that's eating on mic. Yeah. Good luck. I actually hate myself when I do stuff like that because yeah. it really just ruins my day later on. Right, right, right. I mean, everyone's chewing into the mic at this yeah. point. We'll there was snacks. a few episodes where, like, the chewing was... I think we got had a lot of snacks and, like, oh, yeah, everybody no, no, was... A, yeah. And I was sitting there, like, <laughs> losing my mind. Like, actually, like, like my skin was crawling <laughs> listening to it all. Welcome to this week's episode of Trivia Treats. Oh, this is tasty. What powerful artifact grants a character an angelic halo? Um, a halo. A book. <laughs> like, of... a, like just an actual halo? Yeah. 
I don't know. I guess that probably is a, an item you can Nailed get. Nailed it. Next one. No, is what it, I was asking. Is no, it the for. Book of Exalted Deeds? It is the Why Book not? of Exalted Deeds. I did say book. I just didn't know. Oh, <laughs> just a book. I said a book of... <laughs> pick up a book. I was thinking of something. A book of book. Halo or... Uh, I, I'm going to say I'm proud book. of myself for even saying it's, something remote. This book is basically right. like... Okay, if you want uh, one point, Herc gets four. What do I I'm get? happy with that. At least I get a point. It wasn't part of the answer. Damn it. This book's like the epitome of good... You have to be aligned good to open it. Indeed. To even Wait, open the it. It's called what? The, the Book, book of, of Exalted, Exalted Deeds. Deeds. Oh, I thought you said Exalted Thieves. And I was like, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't seem sound like a good very book to me. It is the counterpart to the Book of Owl Darkness. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. It is a counterpart, yeah. You have to spend 80 hours, I believe, reading it. And then you get a whole host of benefits. And if an evil character reads it, they take 24d6 radiant damage. Is there an so, audio book yeah. available of it? <laughs> An audiobook available. <laughs> Maybe let's ask Jake. Have you worked on any audiobooks no. lately? Um, so Jake would work can, on the evil. Can we just I take gave, a moment to, to gave, appreciate that beautifully in sync, like repetition of Book of Exile? Yeah, 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 so like um, these guys in a cult, or the uh, I gave one of my players who is good but loves magic items and getting spells and things, mm. the Book of Vile Darkness, just to oh. tempt them to see if they'd... Does the Ooh. Book of Vile Darkness give you a downstairs halo? A cock ring? A cock <laughs> like, I was, sure, I was thinking an anal ring, but sure. An anal ring? Yeah, your butthole. But it just keeps it open? It gives you a second butthole. Why do you need a second butthole? I don't know. Hey, twice the entry. One for shit and one for fucking. <laughs> uh, I, do, I do like about the book as well. If you don't, if you don't commit nice like a good or together. kind act or deed within 10 days, like every 10 days, then you lose all the benefits that you had from reading the book, including mm. the Halo. Yeah. So including pretty cool Halo. item to throw into your campaign. Maybe we'll see it in this one. Who Probably knows? Not. Probably not. <laughs> Only Agnar be able to use it. Yeah, that's Aww. true. Well... We'll see. Um, <laughs> that was this week's episode of Trivia Treats. Oh. This is a taste We're going to play a quick little improv game. Uh, we're not going to backtrack and do a uh, word tap in just yet. Uh, but we are going to play the picnic game that we yes. discussed. Um, this was my favorite game at primary school. Cool. We're going to play a primary school game now. Jake's sassy wrong. today, isn't he? He's extra sassy today. I have had a fun... <laughs> I'm not even joking, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know, which makes it even meaner. We're going to do the uh, picnic game. The idea is that... Popcorn in the throat. Classic. The, the game is played this way. Uh, someone hosts a picnic, and they decide on some sort of... Uh, something that will be brought to the picnic. For instance, we played earlier... And I said, I'll bring a candle to the picnic. It's my picnic. I want to bring a candle for the twilight. Oh, fuck. You then guess. I forgot your spare candle. You then, oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. uh, you then, why did you keep one? Uh, you then, uh, you then guess and, and ask what you want to bring to the picnic. Uh, for instance, Caleb, what do you want to bring to the picnic? I'm bringing a candle because it's my picnic. Oh, if it's your picnic, then I'm definitely bringing some anal beads. Uh, no, you can't bring anal beads. Oh. Um, Danielle? Uh, can I bring a banana? You can bring a banana. Definitely. Luke? Do you want to come to the picnic? Sure. Can I bring a tube of deep heat? You can't, no, unfortunately. Uh, Michael? Uh, I was thinking of bringing just a nice straw basket. No, I'm sorry. No need for straw baskets. Shit. We're just going to eat off the mat. Uh, uh, could I bring the band ABBA? You could definitely bring the, the, the band ABBA. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and these guys already played. Yeah. Uh, and the idea is that uh, my words, the things you can bring to my picnic, were things that had the first two letters were from the first three letters of the alphabet. Uh, so something stupid like that. So you could bring a cat. I see. Or an abacus. Or an abacus. Or a bat. So, who would like to host the picnic? I've got a rule, but it might be too easy or too difficult. Let's go with or it. Or stupid. Yeah, sounds, sounds perfect. I like or easy yeah, and difficult. <laughs> Let us begin the game. <laughs> Caleb! Yeah. Caleb! Uh, I see you've got this beautiful, beautiful picnic mat laid out, and uh, mm-hmm. it's really thank you, fucking Sandy. Can can I? I just I want. I, can I? Can I join you? Of course, but you have to bring something with you, Jake. Well, what have you got you there? You don't get in for free. This is a loaf of bread. Loaf of bread. Well, I mean, if you're bringing a loaf of bread, can I bring a can of tuna? Mmm. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say what? yes. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, you guys aren't gonna like this. I don't think. Oh, Herc is here. Hey, get, get, oh, hey, Herc. Get, get, oh, hey, nice picnic, guys. Yeah, uh, that's right. But, oh. We've got tuna. We got a can of tuna. Oh, we got, we a, got a loaf of bread. bread. Ah, would I be able to bring a bucket of water? Yeah, absolutely. You can bring a bucket of water. Mm. Come on in, buddy. <laughs> I'd love to bring a, a, a jar of peanut butter for your bread. Mm, I'm going to say that no. 
you can't bring a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. Michael, you can't just walk up to the picnic and be like, hey, I'm bringing a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> I'm scared of the rule that I've created. Yeah. I thought I had it. Can I bring a stick of butter? Yeah, you can bring a stick. Oh, hey, Luke, by the way. Hi. Good to see I you just, here I, at the picnic. I wasn't watching. It's weird. There's just, there's just a ring, ring of people standing yeah. around. There's a bit of stick of butter. I Luke's here with Danielle's been go. standing there stroking oh, her chin well, for a while. Well, let Danielle. You can come into the... Hey, no, your stick you, of butter. Michael. Hey. <laughs> Uh, okay, so so you, uh, hello, hi, hi, hey, you're having Danielle. a picnic, and yeah. this looks really awesome, and mm-hmm. there's quite a few people mm-hmm. coming in. You've got um, such a wide selection lame. of foods. It's a fucking lame picnic. Yeah. Don't mind him. Okay, don't mind so, him. So, so can you can you just uh, can you tell me what what exactly you've already got? So oh, we've already different? got uh, that's, that's that's a different uh, improv game. <laughs> game. <laughs> it's a completely different improv game. <laughs> Improv game plus. Yeah. Uh, we've got a loaf of bread. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe I'm bringing a can of tuna. Yeah, I got uh-huh. a bucket of water. I got a stick of butter. And this idiot brought a jar of peanut butter. No, I have my jar of peanut butter. <laughs> I didn't bring it because he didn't let me in. Take the pe- take the peanut butter out. You can come in. Um, <clears throat> did you eat the peanut butter? Yeah, I ate the peanut butter. It's just a jar. Yeah, yeah, you can come in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought the value of peanut butter jars were peanut butter, <laughs> not the jars. So a jar. A jar, you're a, in. A jar. Now we're all here, except for Danielle. You need to um, give me something. Oh my goodness. I, could I kindly bring a... Okay, well, I just heard that, so I'm going to try. C- can, I, can I bring a punnet of strawberries? A planet of strawberries? A punnet. <laughs> What's a punnet? A, pu- raise your a hand punnet. It's a, like, it's a- Everyone but Caleb, raise their hands. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's it's like a little tub. It's it's the amount of it's a punnet. It, it it's the it's collective the measurement yeah. of it's the collective berries. noun for it's it's like a cardboard box of strawberries. You never mm. heard of a is punnet? it cardboard? It can be cardboard or is it yours can cardboard? Be plastic or it is can yours cardboard? B be... is yours cardboard? <laughs> no, sure. no. It's a yes or no yes. question. It is. I don't think oh. you can come in. I'm sorry, but you can watch from out here as we play with swords that I brought everybody to the picnic. What? Okay. what Did you bring anything that? else? <laughs> I, 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 you know, I didn't know I needed to bring more. If you're bringing swords, then I guess I'll bring, uh, uh, can I bring just a rapier? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> can I bring this toy garbage truck? No. Oh, no. no. See you guys. Guess what's going on with the game. Yeah. I, I, I feel bring, like everyone's going to be angry. I want to bring a shovel. Definitely. Yeah, you can come with your shovel. Great. Yeah. Shovel in the Bury that attitude you had. <laughs> I can make it. Bury your attitude. Sword. What do you mean my attitude? <laughs> I'll bring a long sword. Yeah, absolutely. Come right. on in. C- can I bring some, some sticky tape? I'm going to say no sticky tape. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, but. Kill him. I'm back. I'm yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. I got some rope. Yeah, come on in, buddy. I, I'm just guessing. I'm getting into this picnic. Is this just D and D stuff? Stabbing in the dark. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> it's stuff that you can find in in the Forgotten Realms. <laughs> <laughs> There's no peanut butter in the Forgotten Realms. I don't think so. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> This is you don't uh, think so? It needs to be a definite. I think there's peanut butter uh, in the Forgotten Realms. Wait, a can uh, of tuna. Yes, yeah, see, I didn't know the if they, realm. But I didn't know but if a they jar had... of peanut butter is not the jar. Is. Yeah, because I, I reckon they have cans and they have tuna. You but reckon? I don't know if they have peanut you butter. Reckon? I don't tuna? think they're making peanut butter. No tuna. I don't, yeah. the I don't think they're yeah. making. I don't think they're making peanut butter. You did what? peanut butter. Peanut butter is like, like crushed you just peanuts. Like smush up. Yeah. Yeah. And the oil comes out. That's all peanut butter is. I feel like they're more likely to have peanut butter than they do a can of tuna. Uh, a specifically yeah. canned yeah. tuna fish. More, okay. I In Caleb's defense, like he did say we might hate it. I did say multiple times <laughs> that you guys were going to be angry and you weren't going <laughs> to like it. Why did you yeah, hear our own question <laughs> <laughs> I just right. thought it was on theme, so it would be God. a good one to start. It's uh, things that I think maybe if there was a place on Mars that they might have in their like grocery store. Oh, that's very cruel. You know we're, we're a magic. D&D podcast, We're going to have cans. We're a D&D no, I podcast. thought the rule was you need a thing of blank. Yeah. 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 For a second, it was, it was like, I thought I was it was like, oh, something, something of something. That would have been a good rule. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a better rule. That is not how you play the picnic game. Wow, that's, that's debatable. That. That's debatable. <laughs> I like mine. It was, on, it was on theme. It was good. It got a rise out of all of us, and that's yeah. what we need. Did. Did. Anyway, speaking of rising, you don't want to play an actual one? That was it. That's all we have time well, that's for. That's all we have time for. Yeah. 
That's <laughs> we're 19 minutes in, Caleb. You have to edit this down. Do you want to play another one? I thought maybe if you guys wanted to do one that Caleb, you Caleb, we're like. going to sit in the fact that you ruined this improv game. Again, debatable. We can always try again next week. There will be we no were. next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of uh, disappointing outcomes, oh. why don't we... Uh, Jump into a... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Has <laughs> uh, anyone got a good... Fiona yet. Anyone Wait, got I a good... Something. What happened? I don't know. I was just trying to make a connection. Oh. And I didn't... And yeah, I upset the crowd. I was playing the is a disappointing outcome. Uh, no, no, no. Well, I more meant the, the fact mm. that we're trying to get to Fiona and the chances yeah. of us getting to Fiona this recording session are about the same as when you were across the other end of the ocean. Wait, uh, aren't we on Fiona? Nope. Not yet. We Let's see Fiona. Uh, Caleb will tell you in the recap, which is happening right now. Theater of the Mind Flip! In our last session, Force, you drew three more cards from the deck of many things, gaining the deed to your very own keep located somewhere in Fiona. You also managed to get a beautiful new pistol. Unfortunately, your last card that you drew was another ruin card and you watched as the deed to the keep that you had just got dissolved in your hand. Living up to her end of the bargain, Codina informed you that a solution to the afflictions that are causing some of you distress could actually be solved somewhere that Azareth knew, a location that Azareth knew. Uh, he didn't divulge this information, but you guys might want to have a chat about that at some stage in the future. Uh, Edorath and Agnar then <laughs> discussed... me like that. <laughs> Edorath and Agnar then discussed choices, with Edorath deciding that it was time to stop running from his past. As Fiona loomed ever closer, you see it in the distance, but in between you and Fiona, you saw a small wooden vessel floating between you and the animal kingdom which is where we're going to begin our session today. As we begin our session, I believe it is the evening time. It is the evening time, yeah. Uh, As the sun has seted, uh, or even set, set, uh, thank you, I've been looking at words for far too long. Uh, (laughs) As the sun has seted over the horizons, um, you would see the last of uh, Fiona before you reach there. You see the, as I said, the fire on the shores there of different uh, societies, different people. And in front of the ship, not too far ahead of you, uh, a a wooden vessel that seems more like a the roof of a house, the pitched roof of a house, sat on top of the water. And it seems to be moving from uh, west to east, moving from right to left in front of you. Um, it is it is a little ways away from you. It is much closer to the shore. And uh, as it chugs along, <laughs> as it chugs along, uh, you can see that there doesn't seem to be any form, any sails or anything like that. But you do see little wooden oars that poke out the sides and just kind of splash and move it along. Uh, you guys are well out of its range if it had anything uh, to fire at you. Uh, and as the 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 night air becomes actually quite balmy this far south, what would you guys like to do? Is anyone up up on the top deck with me? Uh, at this point, Fibbers is behind the wheel. The captain went into his captain's quarters. Uh, there wow. are uh, assorted crewmen. Uh, you gather that Sorensen's probably up in the crow's nest, uh, and the shore of Fiona still looks a fair ways away. It's it's. You decided to show up in the morning, so you, you're keeping your distance at this point. The sails are, uh, are, are half-mast at the, at the moment, and um, this vessel looks like it's a good... Is it because I said half-mast? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, this little vessel appears to be a you know, 15, 20, 30-minute oh. sail. Yeah, it's when it's like, like, <laughs> like a pool noodle, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What you go straight it's from flat to hot? Just I have <laughs> two. I have two forms. <laughs> this isn't even my final form. Soft and I just hard. <laughs> oh goodness! As we're thinking nothing of it, just thinking of it as a boat will probably just continue his uh, excellent his training and just kind of keep excellent. it keep it out in the corner of his eye, but excellent. just kind of yeah. As the rest of you kind of uh, plot around for the evening, is there anything anyone would like to do as you reach the? Uh, the sleepy time portion uh, of the evening. 
I love. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. All right, be quiet on the ship tonight. Fivers, what is? Have you have you guys sailed to Fiana before? Ah, many times. We be doing trade in and out of Fiana. Is there usually a lot of ships or boats sailing around the island? Of course, it's a metropolitan city with a lot of trade going on. And <laughs> it's fine. It's fine to. <laughs> I don't be knowing why the captain be laughing down in the in his in his quarters. What kind of a fuckhead would say Metropolitan City? <laughs> Arr, I didn't be going to school, oh, Captain. God. You know this. What? What was that, Fibber? Sorry, I was laughing at something that popped into me. Oh, there. okay, okay. I was a bit offended there. Oh, I looked, I looked across and spotted someone who lost their shit at it as well. <laughs> I apologize, Fibbers. You're doing good work. Yeah, just just keep us out of the range of the uh, the ships that circle around Fiona. There shouldn't be too many this far north. They they'd normally be down west, but uh, uh, keep your keep your distance all the same. Uh, Captain, is there is a a small little bo- ship? I can't hear you. There is a small little ship. Oh, uh, just off uh, just off the island. Should we be concerned about it? I have full faith in Fibbers. Wake me if there's any problems. All right, Fibbers, what we do? It'd be looking like a small little vessel. I don't think it'd be any threat to us. Should we shoot it? We are doing an invasion. I mean, that seems a bit extreme. I thought this was an invasion. Yes. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) It don't be looking aggressive, but if you you want to get a closer look, I can can swing the ship in. I mean, everyone's trying to get some sleep. I don't think we should stir the the pot, no? Probably just keep our distance. You don't want to have a look. That's Okay, okay. let's have a look. I don't want to have a look now. I kind of do. I'm curious. Let's go. <laughs> okay. You see, Fibber start to turn the wheel and start to steer in towards the wooden vessel. As you creep ever closer, what's everyone else doing as you get towards this portion where you probably were going to sleep? I don't know what they are, so... <laughs> if you shut up, we can find out further in the campaign what the fuck's going on. So we should go around them? <laughs> I thought you were asleep. I was coming down the mast because I just spoke to Sorensen. Oh, do you... So we should keep... We should avoid it? I was just curious. Would I know of any, like, smugglers kind of... Roll a nope. history check for me. It's not rolling. <laughs> not rolling today. <laughs> not rolling. Then I, I guess you just I know, know then. I can't <laughs> give you that answer then, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, that's a nine plus my new expert history. Would that be a disadvantage? I don't know, would it? Are you Someone wouldn't let me sleep yet. Exhausted. You okay, are. Okay, that's uh, better. So uh, it's still a 16. A 16. You would know that um, usually the everywhere but the west, the west of Fiona, the southwestern corner there, down near Sedivet, is where most merchants and people would come to trade. Um, there is the odd vessel that may come around from Neodract and float around the top here, but with the Civil War happening, you gather that that's not a safe passage for any dwarven or elven ships. Uh, any other ships that kind of travel around the outside of Fiona, the north, where the uh, enormous, enormous jungles are, or the, the south, where the, the rocky, volcanic rock is, um, would normally be local vessels, local fishermen, uh, people traveling to and from places. Indeed, those that don't really want to come in contact with the Howling Ring sometimes charter a ship or a boat around the outside, around the outside, like two trailer park girls, and don't go through the Howling Ring, because ra- uh, even if you've been through it before and you have your mark, it's still pretty dangerous in the Howling Ring. <sighs> Solensen! Yeah, 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 what is it? You, you found see, a shell? Can you see anything? Well, there might be a shell on that boat in front of us. Can you see anything interesting for your little people? Eh, give me a second. This is how you don't roll yourself. <laughs> <laughs> eh, you already rolled. Yeah. The rules are gone. Um, from what I can tell, it looks like some sort of... Uh, I don't know, strange enclosed kind of vessel. I, I can't tell what exactly it is. Uh, there's little oars coming out of it, so not a not a shell boat. Um, looks to be coming from somewhere uh, on the, the the northwestern corner there, heading around the outside. I don't know. Is there something we should be concerned about? Fibers, should we talk to the captain or? Ah, we've been through a lot with these crew. If they want to keep going ahead, I don't think we'd be worrying the captain. He's gone through a lot today with. Cotton Eye Joe gone right, and... God rest his soul, yeah. Yeah, don't rest his soul. He's still alive now. I wouldn't right. be hearing any kind of talk like that. From God, I think. My apologies. We're, 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 we're still planning on going to get him, yeah? Oh, of course, as soon as we let these guys go. Sounds like a very exciting adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in and find out. Ah, uh, fuck it. Who cares? Let them let be. I say we all get some sleep and these guys go to the hell. 
quicker they go to hell, we can uh, quicker we can get off this boat. That's true. I've had enough of this ocean business too. So okay. Fibber oh, slowly yeah, starts to turn the boat back <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> towards Fiona. I know how hard it is to sail. I don't, actually. After our little chat and cooking experience, uh, Agnar is going to... Um, well, I, I'm a bit tired and um, I'd like to um, you know, see if I can speak to Nesh. So I'm, I'm going to go and um, pop down to the sleeping quarters. You do that. Right. Okay, well... It's going to be all right, I think. I hope it will. Me too. You head down uh, past the gun deck into the sleeping quarters there. As you head down there, what would you like to do? Just going to go find a little quiet corner, check who's who's around. Yeah, make a perception check for me. It's an eight. With an eight, looking around, you don't see anybody. No one that you uh, that concerns you. There doesn't seem to be anyone in the in the bunks or anything like that. Everyone still seems to be working. Okay. <laughs> Oof. And I'm going to cast sending. Hi, Nesh. I hope you're okay. Um, if you can, tell me where you are and maybe who you're with. Would like to help. Uh, love you. Oh. <laughs> A moment later, you hear. The fuck is this? Oh, no, that was casting sending, not the stone. Just kidding. <laughs> I turned out some really good at impressions of people. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> what was the question again? I'm doing okay. Um, not great. Um, they're letting us out for a little bit of uh, food and air, but... Uh, Mostly they seem to want to... That's all you hear. Do you have a fucking question? <laughs> Would you like to send again? <gasps> oh. Can you imagine a chicken grumbling? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, well, okay. She sends back to you. And she says, We're in a little bit of a sticky pickle right now. Um, um, I think we should be able to have it handled. Uh, some not so nice people kind of raided the temple here in the Howling Green. So, uh, not too much violence, but uh, we'll be fine. Right, okay, okay, not. Um, oh, I still don't know where. Oh, well, I'm a bit. No, I'm. Oh, I can? Can I? Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Your intelligence is way down. <laughs> That's, yeah. <laughs> message. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Phone's off. Uh, oh, think, 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 think. Um, are you at the temple? <laughs> you get one last sending back. Uh, uh, yes, 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 we're at the subsidiary of the temple in the Howling Ring. We still um, got stormed by some very angry individuals. Um, Bit scary. Bit scary. Not too badly hurt. Okay. Glad you're not hurt. Maybe see you soon. Stay safe and talk again tomorrow. Excellent. As you bed down, Agnar, you would notice just two very big eyes looking at you from across the way. There's Cordina across the other side of the table in the crew quarters. Just watches. And just kind of steps back up into the gun deck there. <laughs> um, oh God, just a little like ruffle of feathers, <laughs> almost like a like a shiver. Okay, Cordina's presence. Sound of turkey. <laughs> uh, excellent. <laughs> Have you seen the video yes, where the news reporter laughs? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. <laughs> Excellent. As you bed on down, is anyone staying up or are you all going to sleep? Sleep. Treep. Okay. I'm going to go down to sleep, but just before going down to sleep, uh, yeah. did Sephirith leave like a bag and her stuff as well, like on the ship as well, like where the note was? Uh, you have found almost everything of Sephirith's already, I believe. Um, you can do a quick investigation check as I double check. 
Did you ever find out the name of her brother? <laughs> no. <laughs> Twelve investigation. Twelve investigation. Okay. Found the note because that was pointed out to you. Other than that, it's just her personal effects, bits and pieces. You'd find uh, some of her clothing, some of her kind of uh, left behind clothing. Uh, but other than that, not much. Whatever she had on her seemed to be important to her and taken with her. Her tattoo equipment, um, her magic items, stuff like that. Cool. Yeah. I will go to bed. Okay. As you all bed down overnight, you can go ahead and uh, mark off a long rest. Yeah. As you bed down, yeah, the uh, dreams that come to you aren't uneasy at all. They're actually the, the most calm and relaxing dreams you've had in a little while. The thought of being back on dry land very, very soon. And as the uh, dawn light kind of peaks over the east there, uh, morning has come. I'll get up. <laughs> Way up the top deck. Hello. Good morning. morning. That was the uh, mm. best sleep I've had in a while. Yes. That was quite nice. I guess we're about to land on Fianna. Should be about there now, no? I suppose so. Are you excited, Agna, to go home? That's a good question. I, I feel like the other two aren't too looking forward to it, but... I mean, yes, actually. I mean, it'll be a bit strange. You know, I... I, I, I hadn't left before, and and so that was like the first time leaving, and so, and so this is like the first time coming back. So that's sort of like, almost like leaving, but different. Yes. Yeah, I can, I can get behind that thought, I think. Um, did you... Did you manage to get a hold of Nesh? How is she? Oh, I, I did. Yes. Um, Nesh is okay. Well, sort of okay. Um, she's not hurt. Um, and, and still at the temple. So, so that's, okay. that's good. But there's, um, some, some people there. Not nice. Um, right. Yes. So. People not nice in the temple. Right. Yes. And they're. Doing what with Nesh and the rest of the... I'm not really sure. Um, I mean, I, th- I think they're, um, they're sort of um, like locked. I mean, they're not allowed to just go wherever because Nesh said something about being, being let out for um, like a, a walk or, or, or fresh Like fresh a recess air. or something? Well, I don't know. I think they might be being held against their will. Oh, yes, yes. That's, that's what I was saying. You seem very okay with this. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I mean, Ness, she's okay. Ness, she's not... For now, but... Right. Who knows what they have planned. Well, right. None of that seems good. Good morning. Uh, yeah, you're talking right <laughs> over my... You two are talking, like, right over my bunk. So. No, but, I mean, I thought Nesh might be dead. So, so, I'm, you know, this is, um... Much better, right? Debatably, sometimes, and you know, I'm not going to get into it right now. It's too early. <laughs> Look, I mean, she's your friend, uh, Agnar, but if you wanted to help her, should we all be happy to help you? Oh, right. Um. Well, yes. I mean, so Etterath and I had had a little chat about that. Um. Yesterday. No. No. The day before that. Right. Oh um, God, it's been a long fucking week. It it has a long sort of um two um, days. We were on Bok like fucking three days ago. <laughs> yes. Like four, three, four days ago. And so, I mean, he did point out that um, you know, Nesh is is, is an ally and and has other people and and it, that could be useful. So you know, as much as I was sort of feeling like I didn't want to derail things by, you know, prioritizing um, personal stuff over the whole um, safe boxed situation, um, that might, maybe it is a good idea. I think it would be, and you don't have to be so selfless about it. If you want to save your friend, if you love her, and we'll understand, and I would jump at the opportunity to save someone I loved. If- I just, I, do, I don't want, you know, the whole of Bokht to, 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 you know, die because, because, you know, I want to, to look after Nesh. That wouldn't be right. Well, we have 
Balked in the Severian army, sort of on a on a timer that we set. Right. It's more important to get allies and make sure the people we care about are safe. Right. Right. But we should get to Fiona first, and then... Yes. All right. I'll see you up there. Excellent. As you step above deck into this warm, early morning light, you would see in front of you the coastline of the northern edge of Fiona. <clears throat> what you see before you is an incredibly large rainforest. You can see trees that seem incredibly tall, taller than the ones that were in the uh, Shadowlands when you were there. From here, you can see that there is a thriving ecosystem among the higher branches. You can see at this distance small wooden bridges that kind of move between trees. You see small wooden huts and things up in the tree lofts, hundreds of feet above the ground. You see different bird people flying from various treetop to treetop. And over the top of all this, in the very, very far distant, you see the peak, the very tip of some sort of enormous mountain far, far, far south of where you are. As you get closer, you can see that the shoreline is rather thin, almost golden sand that kind of travels around. There only seems to be 10 to 15 feet of it that rings around this top edge that moves then impossibly into uh, slopes that lead up to the uh, the rainforest there. Uh, as you do so, the captain is back behind the wheel. Um, looking south at Fiona here, you can see the uh, jungle kind of travels along the northern edge. To the left there, was it where it heads around the east corner, it seems to move on to more of a woody forest to the uh, right-hand side there. Over to the east, it seems to peter down into some sort of... Uh, uh, more sparse kind of planes that lead down towards uh, where you know to be the the main entrance to Fiona around the other side there. Um, as you come up from breakfast, for breakfast, looking around, there appears to be no sign of that wooden vessel. However, when you look at the ocean between you and Fiona, there is a dark, iridescent streak on top of the water that seems to lead from somewhere to the right, somewhere where the jungle reaches the almost desert-like terrain, that leads up and around in front of your ship and around to the left, further in towards the foresty section. Um, this streak of dark, iridescent kind of oil seems to ring around the top there uh, and mirror possibly where that small vessel was last night. As you wake up, the captain looks at you all and says, Right, it's been a pleasure. Um, I'm happy to take you in as close as we can go and let you guys make your way to shore there. Um, and then I guess we'll be off to hell then. Arr, captain. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie, I'm getting a bit nervous about it now. Me too. I uh, was sleeping last night and I realized that... You were sleeping? You were supposed to be behind the wheel last <laughs> night. <laughs> I mean, I was sleeping behind the wheel, obviously. Right. Yeah, That's okay. yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I realized hell's probably going to be not a very nice place to be. No, uh, hell ain't a bad place to be. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys going to do with your ship when you're there? I thought we'd, we'd bring it, ca Captain. What are we I don't do know the, the finer points of, uh, of hell. I know there's a big river in there, so I, I wonder if we could bring Our the ship. Our squiddies talk about the river sticks. Perhaps we could sail in we through there. We could sail into a river, of course. Yeah. If there's a river, we'll be there. Um, Maybe you some, guys some it, repairs. No, we'll be, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We were doing that for your benefit. We've sailed on worse. Uh... <laughs> going we, to um, literal hell <laughs> we uh enjoy your jungle stay we're gonna go have an adventure in hell well thank you very much it's for um, sad we're gonna be missing out on it us. no problem i mean you're welcome to come along <laughs> <laughs> maybe but in another life <laughs> i had to tell you i'm already going to hell i don't need a fast right, well, track down there. we'll see you there then where can we uh drop you just just Oh, Anywhere on here, the or, or, where, or you want us to head round to the Merchant Bay, or what's going to be best for you? Right, that's a that's a good. Um, I'll what, leave what, it what? up to the Fianians. I don't have paperwork. <laughs> this oh, is empty. So, right. um, so, so Edarath pulls down his sleeve, and what you see, uh, Azareth, is a strange, what looks to be almost a tattoo. It's an odd kind of rectangular almost blob um 
that those that are in the know would know that it's roughly in the shape of Fiona. And it just seems to be a dark outline of Fiona. I don't see anything. <laughs> uh, this is for, yeah. Uh, so, you know how we talked about the choosing and yada yada, wilds, yada yada. Yes, I yada, think yada, I was yada. there. <laughs> yes, we've, we've had multiple conversations about this by this time. <laughs> <laughs> I never finished that. All right, and that means you're not allowed back? I've been banished for a while now. All right, well, do you... Because I don't have one. Am I not allowed? Oh, no, either? you're an outsider. You're fine. Well, what if you looked like an outsider? Looks back at Spot. It's magical. Right. Well, I have this, uh, and this. if you put this on, you can... Basically, I did the trick with the, the dwarven captain there, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you feel like giving it a go... Uh, sure. So you would, you would know that the, the magical component mm-hmm. of that passport is only going to be a real issue in Lorna Cath. Oh, in around Lorna the Cath. surrounding areas, yet yeah, technically you're not supposed to be there, but the magic won't stop you from being there. Okay. It's only when you're entering the city, okay. essentially. Mm-hmm. However, there may be others there that you're not supposed with you're your... not supposed to be there. Yeah, but magically you won't be found out until you go. You know, to we're going to be playing this fast and loose show. Sure. What's the necklace? Force, I know you're not in, yeah, it's a necklace of disguise. <laughs> I know you're not, you don't seem like you're very popular around Fiona either. Who says I'm next to you? What? <laughs> <laughs> and that's a no but. Force. That's a no but for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we haven't seen Force yet. Sitting right this there. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for turtles off the front of the boat. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Make a, like a nature or perception check for me. <laughs> Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, to to see any turtles. <laughs> no, I don't, don't see no. No, I'm not looking for turtles. I'm looking for uh, any sign of danger. Together, they make it twenty. Okay, Does that count? <laughs> no, oh. well, one oh. of them was a seventeen. Uh, nature or survival? Six, say nine, eight, eight. Wow, okay, was... <laughs> which one do you want to go with? <laughs> I'm going to go with eight. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, looking down into the ocean, there uh, as you're looking around, uh, you don't see any turtles so to speak um looking off the edge edge of the boat there uh, the ship you can see that there are some sort of underwater creatures that they're definitely humanoid and they definitely have you know four limbs uh that seem to be just swimming along in a, a, a small school maybe five or six of them and they seem to be just kind of paddling along moving uh, uh, uh along the edge of the coast in no hurry in no rush just gonna hold point the gun at them Okay. <laughs> uh, fuck, why, why, why is everything humanoid? Because I was looking at the birds. There's a flying bird, so humans. Anything non humanoid? Um, make, make, make a real quick perception check. Ooh, 19 and 17. 17 plus per set. So 22. 22. With the morning sun shining down, there are definitely fish in the water there. Uh, a, a large, what looks to be some sort of barracuda or something. That- Bang! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> roll an attack roll for me with the pistol. Ah, that's a two. Uh, <laughs> what is the misfire score? I think it's a one. Okay, there is a loud, sharp, like flat crack psh, that fires out. Oh, it's a five total. A five total, excellent. Uh, as the bullet hits the water, psh, boop, nothing happens. What was that? Uh, four what the with fuck your new are toy? you doing? <laughs> well, I'm just trying to fish, seeing how useful this thing is for fishing. Is it Your useful? track record shows you're just better just hopping in and do it yourself. I'm so tempted to just jump off the boat right now after that. But okay. Uh, uh, no, but we're going hungry for the moment. Hungry? N- no. I mean, we have what? food on the yeah. ship. Oh, right. Yes. Right, we had right. breakfast. Nice. Any success there, Force? No, no more turtles. I'm sorry. Nothing That's around. That's right. You know where to find me if, uh, if you find one. Yeah, in hell. Yes, in hell. I think we've promoted that enough. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? Where are we going? Who's right, doing what? Um, so... Um, to the beach? Uh, well, we, we could go to the beach or to the, the, the town. Right. The merchant um, landing point. The beach is probably easier. Beach is probably safer for you, isn't it? Yeah. yeah right. Beach it is. Right. Okay. Force, do you have any undesirables on this island that are looking for you? I think we covered that. Yeah, quite a few. Yeah. Do you want this? It'll help you 
What is change. It? You can change your appearance if you'd like. What is it? It's a necklace. Oh, that, uh, okay, just... sure. Yeah, I'll put on a necklace. Ah, it does suit you. It really brings out your eyes. Your appearance has changed. To choose what I turn into. You can choose, yeah. Puka shells like. seem to work really well with the whole aesthetic <laughs> that you've got going there for us. <laughs> um, I'll turn into a real short Loxodon. Excellent, yeah, like a short <laughs> squat loxodon. Beautiful. Excellent. Uh, As this, uh, same coloring, though. Excellent. Elephant like figure, uh, only five foot tall. <laughs> Blue? Five foot two it's tall. It's a pygmy loxodon. It's a pygmy loxodon. Excellent. Baba. Um, this is a nice change. Look at this. Yeah, it's a kind of suits me, to be honest. Ooh. But I've always wondered is it easier to walk on all fours as a loxodon? And I like, try and walk on all fours, and I look like Bambi. <laughs> no, yeah. no, back, back on to. I mean, it's the same as you walking on all fours. You don't change; it's just a disguised self. So your form underneath is still the same. Oh, okay. So your trunk would like pass through things, but as you drop to all fours, the rest of you see essentially uh, like a turtle scuttling, <laughs> but an elephant doing this, <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> like elephant exorcist almost. Oh, what happens if I do this? Pop in an arm. Oh. Uh, you watch as yeah, you watch as one of the thick, stumpy loxodon like arms just kinda pulls into the side. That Whoa. is disturbing. I thought I'd see that in my life. Pull uh-huh. it back out. Oh, that's even grosser. Yeah. 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 You know when you've got like uh something you're inflating and it's kind of uh there's a section of it that's kind of pushed in and you inflate it and it goes and pops out. That's essentially no ha- what that looks there's like. There's no Caleb. half mass for it. It's either soft or <laughs> yes, hard. Yes, exactly. Do this. Exactly. Yeah. We do this. Soft or hard, right, Caleb? Hey, goodness. Uh, uh, yeah, this should help. Great. Maybe. Well, guess right, we'll see. Know. Magic's they got. Can you force make a wisdom saving throw for me? Oh, no. Yeah, not a disadvantage. Do you get plus something from Edward? Oh, yeah. Are you within yeah. 30 feet of me? Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing my saves are so high right now. Wisdom saving throw, uh, five plus your two, so seven plus nine is 16. Do any of you have blind sight? Okay. As the ship pulls closer to the shore there, the captain kind of spins the wheel and pulls a handbrake, kind of slide, a Kira slide in the, in the ship there to the, to the edge there as the ship kind of stops, rocks back and forth. He says, right, this is you lot. Uh, I'm afraid I can't get much closer. Uh, I can always get fibbers to row you to shore if, if you want. I think that would be good. That'd be best. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Can, you, can you swim without all your stuff? I can still swim, just not as good. <laughs> oh. As he pouts. <laughs> <laughs> you feel, still, like, you feel, you feel like... It's still a sensitive subject, okay? <laughs> you feel a hand on your shoulder. <laughs> if you want to pull another card and see if you can uh, swim after that, you may. What have you got to lose? Hold oh, on, give me a sec. Take off my rapier. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> my boots. You essentially get <laughs> completely naked, yeah? No, it's shirt pants. Okay. Quadina says, It's been a pleasure. One for the road, perhaps. And may the old, go- old gods look over you. And may the new, new gods come into power. Give her a wink. He just looks at you with blank eyes. Eyes open. Always. <laughs> I go to poke her in the eye. <laughs> she just stands there. <laughs> takes it. And as you get, yeah, as you get closer and closer, you just poke her eye. Uh. <laughs> that's not, that's not normal. Hedrath. <laughs> okay. Come on. It can't be all bad, right? Riches, riches, riches. Oh, Give me all the gems. Oh, dear. Let's blow this. God, I hope you guys go to hell. <laughs> oh, no. That's the one. Oh, only Adarath will go to hell. <laughs> Sake. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Is that hell? So, oh, no. seriously? Edirath, as you oh. pull the <laughs> card, no, well, no, it's as you, as you, above, 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 anything. as you pull the card, <laughs> you look down at it, and everything around you, like John Constantine, like in that beautiful fucking movie that Keanu needs to do a, a sequel to, you everything starts to. to sweep across, <laughs> like it's en fuego. You look up on fire. I think. I don't know. Uh, Sounded cool. You're standing, you're standing on a very precarious chunk of rock. The heat coming from underneath you immense as you stand on a lake of lava. You can see in front of you a sheer cliff face that leads up to this enormous brass cathedral. Looking out from this grand canyon of lava, you can see the peak of what looks to be a mountain of skulls. You hear shrieking of creatures, unholy creatures. <laughs> seem to fly past 
Thank you. Nice. Um, <laughs> and as you're standing there, you hear <laughs> behind you. Slowly turn around. <laughs> as you slowly turn around, you see at least 12 to 15 feet tall, an enormous red broad-chested devil. <laughs> they have an enormous square jawline, a, a, a thin kind of goatee, horns that curl around. And as this cloven hoof devil looks at you, he says, I must be my lucky day, eh? Two in the same day. Well, in the same 24 hours. How you going, love? He has lube. <laughs> <laughs> All things considered, could be better. Well, it's only going to get worse from here. <laughs> yeah. How about I cut you a bargain? That's the quickest anyone's ever called for one. He leans in, deep, 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 dark eyes. Get really close to your face. His head, your head is literally the size of his nose. And as he leans in, <clears throat> he says, What can I do for you? Send me back home. When I die, my eternal soul will blah, 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 fire, brimstone, yada, yada. You're already home. And when you die, your ass is mine. I mean, it was already going to be, but let's just make it official. After you. You speak first. Um, Upon my death, my soul shall be forfeit to hell, whatever. He says, before then, we're going to have a little fun. And he reaches out with a large claw, just very quickly scratches you twice on your collarbone, leaves a little gash there. It sizzles. And he says, all right, off you go, love. See you soon. And he jumps on the rock you're on, and the whole thing back into the lava, and you come up from the car. (laughs) So what happened? I think that was shitty. (laughs) The last what thing we see? that echoes in your ears, you swear you hear a very faint, Good night, Joe. <laughs> Where did you go? Looks like we're not done advertising this. <laughs> shot. We just got to see who we're the villain back is. in it, baby. Uh, it's no longer a one shot, it's the campaign. <laughs> this is the side plot. <laughs> this is the B plot you now. guys would have seen Edorath pull a card. And just kind of open his mouth a little bit as steam comes out and kind of <coughs> cough. And as he coughed, his entire body would have looked like he's been sitting in a sauna for like an hour. <laughs> it's not unusual. <laughs> you okay? Go for a swim. I'm so sorry that the cards just don't seem to like you. Yeah, I already knew they didn't do that. You can oh. take them with you and see if you get any more luck with you them. You know what? Yep, yep. These, these fucking things have done enough to me. They're mine now. You did say, Quadina, that there are four, four cards out there, right? We're fucking finding them. If you can get the last four cards, I'll answer any questions. I'll grant any wish I can. Hand them over. We're going for a field trip Wait, after this. You can grant wishes? I will be once the cards are fulfilled. Save and bought. Granting wishes. Come on, hand them over. Please. Thank you. She hands them over to you. Does the, ah, ah, the tease and then places them down in your hands. She lets go and she says, Ah, uh, they're rightful place. <sighs> okay. Be smart with these. They're not just things for you to pull and experience. They can be used. They can be harnessed. As I have. It's been Ooh, wonderful knowing you all. I wish you a safe journey. I see you, Cordina. And when the old gods return, I will be seeing you. Great. Sure. Kisses? <laughs> hugs? Anyone? I've had my eye, hand on her eye most of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every now and then she blinks and her eyelid just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> like a little snapping turtle around your finger. Also just looks like a big elephant finger. Yeah. <laughs> her eye, like enormous eye, turns to you, Force, as your finger's on it. And she says, see you later. Uh, 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 uh. Gods, you're weird. You see Fibbers has, like, set up the dinghy and is on board waiting for you now. One final thing before you go. That individual, Callian Maine, who signed the the bit of paper that, uh, well, kind of gave us the permission to come get you. If you see him, at least let him know that we got the job done. We may not have dropped you off where we said we were gonna, but we got the job done. 
Right, yes, Will do, you Captain. did. Thank you. All right. And thank you for, and your crew, for, I know we were not the easiest guests to have, but. We had a fucking dragon turtle, for fuck's sake. Right. Well, you've got a hell of a story to tell now, don't you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm sure they'll love that story down in hell, where we're going after this. <laughs> to go get caught Nigel. Joe. By the way, if you see a fucker about 15 feet tall, red, tell him fuck you. I'll use my proper judgment before I do that, but noted. On behalf of me. Oh, of course. If the heat's pointed at you, then I'll say anything. The uh, heat's already been done. We'll talk about it later. Right. Excellent. With Fibbers waiting in the dinghy there, there's nothing else you'd like to do aboard All the... Right. So Alpin, we're leaving. Oh, I didn't... Are we are we there already? Yes. Oh, fuck me. All right, well, I just let me get my armor on. <laughs> <laughs> he was uncharacteristically quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd get one fucking sleep in. But, uh, <laughs> comes up top. Ching, 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 ching. Do you have everything? Did you pee? Did you... <laughs> oh, th- no! And he kind of runs back downstairs and you hear the dropping of uh, plate armor. Clink. <laughs> Clink. Ting. Was that your cock? <laughs> Sire! <laughs> I thought we were past this! I'll just make it quick. <laughs> oh no. I might have to wait till we get on shore. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> clink, 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 clink. Pulls all the armor back up. Just bring some toilet paper. Comes running back upstairs. <laughs> Do you mind, Captain? No, not, a, not at all. Take it with you. All right. Help and follow me. And I'll jump off the boat. Don't! Of no, course. you stay here! <laughs> you take commands from me, mate. Force may need me! I will tell you if Force needs you. Of course, of course. Excellent. Force jumps off the boat. Fibbers with the dinghy there. Those that wish to go with Fibbers are lowered down. Yep. As you hit the water and you begin the uh, brief row into shore. As you row into shore, you row over the top of that slick oil patch. Force in the water there. I sunk to the bottom and I'm walking across the bottom. Excellent. In the water there as elephant. you <laughs> drop to the bottom as an elephant. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the snout is above the one. Uh, uh, yeah. The imaginary snout. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> as you walk along the bottom there, uh, schools of fish kind of curiously coming past you and then <laughs> darting away. Chasing with my feet. Um, trunk. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is the, are the mer people or the a humanoid fish people? As far as you can tell, they've gone away down the ways. The 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 six kind of mer people that you saw, they've kind of swum around the north uh, eastern coast there. Um, you could probably catch them if you wanted to, but they they very much came past, and then you fired a gun into the water, mm. and then yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, make a real quick perception or, or survival check for me. Uh, seven. Okay, with a seven, looking towards the shore, you see what looks to be a a little sea turtle. Just giving you the double birds, just sticking his fingers up at you, <laughs> grooving a little bit. And then you kind of focus your eyes and it just, it's just a bit of coral, a, a bit of, uh, uh, what kelp. do you call it? Kelp, yeah, that's kind of floating there. Um, no luck. As Fibbers rows you. I'm going to put my hand through the, the oil and the water. And okay. See I... Yeah. As you put your hand through uh, the- Don't be doing that. <laughs> As you put your hand- <laughs> well, what, How do you know what it is? Go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw for me. Because three of us at this table may have already encountered this. Well, I have. <laughs> no one told me what And you've this circumnavigated was. some really fun and more fleshed out characters. <laughs> uh, 20, I guess, but plus saving throws. Plus two. 22. You yeah, have nothing, plus right? whatever if you're within 30 mm. feet of me, but I don't know how deep I am. Uh, I see you're just out of the way of force. 22. As you drag your hand through, it does stick to your hand there. And as it kind of rubs off, it has this blue, gold, green, orange, purple, red kind of streak to it. Uh, And as it kind of tingles against your skin, you feel a little bit ill and you quickly dip your hand in and wash it off in the water. And you gather this is toxic, poisonous stuff. Nobody touch that. Uh, Keep our limbs inside the vessel at all times. You have to say that before we leave. That's Uh, part of the safety Look at it. I didn't think I'd have to say, (laughs) don't put your body into it. Sir Alpin pulls his face out of the water. (laughs) (laughs) That was that, Fibbers. He's going to make a (laughs) costume. Damn it. Uh, He saves as well. (laughs) Okay, now everybody stay inside the vessel. What about Force? I think he's made a hardier stuff. I think he'll be fine. Hey, I did pretty good there. I mean, that's true, but I wouldn't be doing it again. Right. 
as you row towards the shore there, Fibbers kind of beaches you against the very small sandbar. Uh, Justice Force kind of walks up. Daniel, Daniel Craig's it. That's exactly what I was about. <laughs> you listen back and you'll hear me saying that and as he says Daniel Craig. I'm Wearing some Craig. kelp. <laughs> yeah. Wearing some kelp, tiny kelp shorts. Um, as he steps up out of the water, you guys are here on the coast of Fiona. You can hear the chirping of crickets and various bugs. You can hear the cawing of birds. You can hear the rustling of leaves and galloping of things through the forest. True wild in front of you ahead. Um, the sweat that Edorath had pouring off him from his experience seems to be clinging to him still. And you indeed all start to feel the heat, the muggy heat of Fiona start to sink in. Ah, oh, well, I guess we be pardoned ways here. It's been an absolute pleasure. But tell me true, Edorath. Did you see any sight nor sound of Cotton Eye Joe? I heard him. You heard him? I heard him. What did he say? Cotton Eye Joe. Oh, that sounds just <laughs> like him. <laughs> he would so say that. <laughs> well, I've got a job to do, and so do you guys, so... Where are you off to, Fibbers? We're off to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and he gives you a salute and he starts rowing backwards. Rivers, be sure to write a sea shanty about your adventures. Use it for your talent show. Aye, aye. Maybe next time you'll make it for the show. Aye. It's a shame we missed the show, sire. Next time. One so more I'll night think. and we possibly could have had a talent show. Yeah, but I didn't think uh, the DM would want us to spend another night on the, the, what? On the ocean. Do you know? I don't know what you're talking about. The dum. What's the dum? Oh, the, the big guy man. in the sky? Aye. The eyeball. The eyeball. What's the eyeball? That. Look up. Looks up. I thought that was just like a celestial orb. I thought that was a mysterious celestial <laughs> orb. Are you saying you guys figured out it was an eyeball the first session when it was read out to you? <laughs> I think it was read out as an eyeball. I think it was described to us. <laughs> it was. It was. I thought it was something secretive and curious in the sky. Apparently not. Fibbers then, just as he's pulling away, goes, Oh, and force! Just in case you need it. And he holds out his hand and one of the squids starts to go oh, 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 and oh, throws up at me. <laughs> like a tiny black sphere. And he chucks it at you and he says, be careful with that. But just in case you be needing it. Yes, be careful with that thing he just threw at you. <laughs> he rolls away. Uh, <laughs> catch it. Didn't even have to roll for it. See? Just say you do things and it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the blackest, deepest black, like completely devoid of any Phantom light. Black. And it's hard, I like, like a rock in your hand and perfectly smooth and spherical. I like it. You lick it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't leave any instructions. You, <laughs> you, you, you hear in your mind, Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Cars Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. <laughs> and that's all. That's the second weird sphere you've got now. <laughs> yep. Got yeah, you're collecting, collecting all the balls. Them. Oh, yeah. You still haven't used that thing. Nope. Didn't you try to lick the other one as well? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, excellent. As you. you don't lick balls? Come on. You got to test it. As you arrive Glad here we have that on recording. On Fiona, <laughs> balls thoroughly licked. What would you guys like to do? Above you, in front of you, the rainforest tree line you can see that through the rainforest itself it is incredibly dim light because of the uh the overgrowth the the, the canopy that kind of uh, sits way way up in the uh tree line there uh these trees 100 maybe 200 feet tall each um vines and things winding throughout and the scattering of trees ahead of you that runs along the coast and further in is impossible to see through at this point there doesn't seem to be any trail or track that you can see right now and Fiona is yours. For the now, taking. for those that don't know, which is one of you. Two of us. I have no idea anything about this place. <laughs> Two of you. I also <laughs> forgot I was here. <laughs> animals can be deceptive here. They can be humanoid or animals. They kind of look the same sometimes. And for you, remember, vines can be snakes as mm. well. Be careful of that one. Right. Y yes. Mm, That's just write a bit this of, down. Uh, I'll stop and write this down. Write the rules down. I don't. I, I you, Am I the scribe? I thought I was the bodyguard. You are, but you can, you know, have other uses. TLDR, don't touch anything. Right. Treat everything as hostile. Okay. And if it talks to you, eh, it might still kill you, but maybe talk to it first. Yes, right. that's, that is that is good advice. Definitely talk first. Talk first, stab second. 
uh, less good, but okay, okay. Which way do we go now, through? Uh, do we go yeah, around? Well, you never told us. Are we going to your village, or are we? What are we doing? We're going straight to Lorna Cath. What are we looking for? I still don't fucking looking for allies. Your person. Are we looking allies. for your person. Well, a- allies and 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 yes, I mean, I mean, she's on the way, so to speak, to to, to Lorna Cath. So, so you know. Are your people on the way? The just that way. Lead on, son. So you guys are around here. Oh shit. Around here, somewhere. You're being shown a map. You would need to turn left to get to Gale Village. Walk straight down if you want to get to Lorna Cath through the Howling Ring. Or to the right if you want to go around. Or to the left if you want to go around the Great Lake. Didn't we want to... Didn't you have a property you wanted to check out as well? We could use as a place to work from? I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of out of the way. Is it out of the way? All right. Well, I'm following you guys, so... I mean, it probably makes sense to go to, go to, to a Terras village first. If you want to go there... Um, yeah, yeah, gotta do it eventually. Can we stick along the coast to get there? No. Okay, so where are you going and what way are you heading there? Gill Village, just off the coastline. So you're going to hug the coastline, the very thin beach, or are you going to step into the tree line? Uh, step into the tree line a little bit. Excellent. As you step into the tree line, you look back and you see the vessel that you'd spent so much time on. Three days. Uh, and traveled the entire continent by teleportation storm. <laughs> <laughs> Behind you Amazing. as it sails and makes its way around to the west, heading towards hell, I hell, guess. Yeah. As it disappears, last thing you see as you head into the forest is just standing off the stern, Godina, just watching and nodding to herself. Anyone else thought she was going to get off with us? I'm surprised she was so willing to give those cards up. Uh, and are you sure that's a good idea? Uh, they I might think be it's fakes. a very bad idea. One. What? Oh. <laughs> Easy for what? <laughs> no, these are staying with me until I'm ready to deal with it. Excellent. As you make your way into the forest, north of the Howling Ring, east of Gale Village, we're going to go ahead and leave our session there. <gasps> <gasps> we made it to Fianna. Theater of the Mind Flip! <laughs> Thanks for listening to Theatre of the Mind Flayer. We go live on all good podcast apps every Tuesday. If you like what you heard, leave us a review on whatever podcast app you're listening to. If you didn't like it, well, stiff shit, you already listened to it. Reach out to us on Twitter at MindFlayer underscore pod and on Instagram at Theatre of the Mind Flayer. Thanks, babies.